Ronnie Coleman has always been my favorite natural vegan bodybuilder. He won Mr. Olympia for 8 years in a row and is considered by many to be the greatest bodybuilder of all time. Besides bodybuilding, Ronnie loved lifting heavyweights. Even 800 solid ass pounds was nothing but a simple peanut to him. Oh, this is 800 pounds. 800 solid ass pounds. With these impressive gym lifts, many people wonder how he would have stacked up to modern day power lifters if he would have competed. Today we'll be going over Ronnie's best lifts to see what he could have totaled and compare that to the best lifters in his weight class. But before we get into the video, a big shout out to all of you for helping us hit 15,000 subscribers. And if you aren't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It would be amazing to have this channel hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the month. Squat Ronnie's most infamous squat set is the time where he hit 800 pounds for a double. Even today in interviews he's often talking about the fact that he regrets not doing more reps. What many people do not realize about this set is that it was fully equipped. He was wearing knee reps and what looks like an insert double ply suit. This is of course still a very impressive number for anyone to hit. But without the equipment, he for sure wouldn't be rapping this weight. Ronnie did look like he was good for a couple of more reps and for that reason I do think he could have hit this weight in only reps. Bench Ronnie never quite maxed on the bench, but he was a big fan of incorporating it into his chest training. Of course he didn't bench like a power lifter, and his training was purely focused on growing his chest as much as possible. For this reason you often saw him doing partial reps where he only focused on the bottom of the movement. With this technique he was able to rep out 500 pounds. While overall his set looked very easy, you can see at the last rep he did struggle a bit to log out. Nevertheless, 500 pounds looked like a very manageable weight for him. Lightweight, baby! So if he would have trained for a powerlifting meet, I would have expected him to get up to the mid 500s. Deadlift. While Ronnie never competed in a full powerlifting meet, he did do a few deadlift meets at the start of his career. In 1994, before winning his first Mr. Olympia title, he pulled 727 pounds in competition. At this point he was competing in a 275 pound weight class, but of course later in his career he got stronger and bigger. The best he has pulled was 800 pounds for a double with straps and he's prepped for Mr. Olympia only 5 weeks out. Assuming that his grip would hold up, this would mean Ronnie would be able to total close to 2200 pounds at his peak strength. Assuming that Ronnie would compete in the 308 pound weight class, this would not be enough to break the world record. Because Eric Lillybridge set this record at roughly 2450 pounds. What made Ronnie's lift so impressive though, was that he did most of them during his prep for Mr. Olympia, at a very low amount of body fat. So regardless of him being the best power lifter or not, these were some very impressive feats of strength. Thanks for watching everyone, that was it for the video. Please follow Set on Instagram because he had a long fight for a big milestone of 315 pounds on the bench. Also, if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe to help us hit that 20,000 subscriber goal. And also check out one of the suggested videos on the screen.